Hello, good friends, it's the Twikane, and thanks for joining me for my very first 3DS project on the channel, Mario Party Island Tour. Like I said in my update video from last month, I said I would be covering 3DS games for the channel, and finally that day has come. We'll go ahead and get the solo party started. <laughs> Sorry I don't have anyone with me to do a multiplayer mode. Kinda wish it was online, but what, what else could you say about it? But anyway, it's about this project. I'm mostly going to be covering just the party mode. I may even cover Bowser's Tower towards the end, and even some mini games that were not seen. Hopefully, we can cover all of them in the party mode. But, anyways, we'll go ahead and get the party started. And there's quite a few boards to choose from here Perilous Palace Path. And they even tell you how much playtime that board could have. And yet. 45 to 60 minutes, and it even rates it based on skill, luck, and minigames. <laughs> See that? We also have Bonsai Bill's Mad Mountain, which has a lot of luck to it. Star-Crossed Skyway, Kamex Carpet Ride, Rocket Road, Bowser's Peculiar Peak, and this board is only used with three to four players, so I will not be able to cover this one, but if there comes a point Maybe at MAGFest, when I go there, if I get friends of mine to come with me and record a board of that in my hotel room, and they have their 3DSs, we can use Download Play and play it like that. Hopefully that happens, but I can't guarantee that it will. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, first board started, Perilous Palace Path. Then I can select what character I want to play as, I'll just go random. Gives me Wow Luigi. <laughs> the guy who huh, gets memed at for not being in Smash, obviously. And then it randomly selects other characters for me. But I am not gonna keep them at normal difficulty. I'm going to change their settings to the calm level to master difficulty. Since I have played this game quite a lot, and I have from the last I checked on um, my playthrough of it. Or should I say, you know where it has activity log on the home screen? I have maybe 80 hours played into this game since it first came out in 2013. Yeah, I'll just say that. The mini game pack should be all, yeah, including the mic ones as well. Calm characters. I can even set what I want to have on there and even, um, what's it called? How many players there should be rather than just, um, three computer players, but we'll keep it at f We'll keep it at four. And time to get this board started. Alrighty, welcome to Perilous Palace Path, where you must overcome obstacles and use items to reach the goal. So, it's a very linear board, but it's not as bad as you would think for a linear board. At least there's no car mechanic to it. This is like one of those games you play growing up where you try to be the first to the finish line. And this board will come with bonus dice blocks, and I can show what they are really quick. Just a gold, a silver, and a bronze. Oh yeah, there's going to be items on this board too. And yeah, you can see them on the bottom screen. <laughs> but yeah, the descriptions for the items will still carry over when um, those items are obtained by the players. Let's just go ahead and hit start. And decide the turn order. They're going to make me go second. That ain't too bad. And yeah, this will even count how many rounds this goes on. Yoshi gets a miserable one. But... <laughs> I guess that one wasn't miserable enough as it makes him move four more spaces. He'll greatly take that. 
Rolling a six would actually be fine because that's an item mini space up ahead. But yeah, the way to roll the dice is to hold the A button or just tap on it to make the dice screen go up. I could even flicker on the bottom screen with it to hopefully give me a nice roll, but I can't always depend on that. I'll go ahead and demonstrate that the uh, next turn. Anyway, it's got a setback shell to send an opponent back two spaces. I think I can set what opponent I want to be set back two spaces. But it's definitely too early to use that item right now. I'd probably use it if we're at the midway point of the board. Luigi will get a mushroom, which adds three to his next dice roll. So, two pairs of the same number. One's by <laughs> Yoshi and Mario, and six is by me and Luigi. Now on, we'll play a mini game at the start of each round. With bonus dice blocks at stake. First place gets a gold dice block. <laughs> Definitely want that. And our first mini game happens to be Magmathon. Alrighty. Rule for this one is jump from rock to rock by quickly pressing the buttons that appear. Be careful, false steps waste time. So I could press just one of two buttons that appear ahead. I can admit I had quite a lot of struggles with this when I first played it because I didn't know the X and Y buttons as much. I always get those confused with A and Y. Alrighty, so they want me to go to B. And Y, X again. Yeah. Uh, oop. Oh, they gave me fourth. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I was just a hair late from them. Well, the tiebreaker is only going to apply to those three. <laughs> I'm still going to get last. <laughs> But it's not the worst thing, because all that really happens is I just don't get a bonus dice block. Hopefully they just get bad rolls with theirs. Good effort, but fourth place doesn't come with a bonus dice block. So yeah, the most Yoshi could roll is a <laughs> an 8, but he got the minimum of 2. <laughs> well, he'll finally get an item. Oh, Lightning Score Striker, it subtracts 3 from an opponent's roll. Alright, I still hope I get a high roll here. I'm still going to save that shell, because it's still... Actually, I forgot to m demonstrate that one thing about the dice. I'll remember to do it next turn. Challenge time. One of these buttons is going to lower a bridge. Otherwise, my turn will end. Let's go with the purple. And I did not get it. Well, these other players are definitely going to beat me to it. Not sure how there's no reward for rolling doubles. Is Luigi going to get it with his lucky green color? No, he doesn't. Well, it looks like Mario's in prime position to get that... Bridge lowered. Unless he rolls extremely low with 
good dice blocks. He rolled the maximum number, and he's gonna get so far, I probably will have to use the shell on him next turn. Well, nothing can stop Mario here. <laughs> but at least the path is now open for all of us now. A new set of challenges await. A little thing called the Bowser Zone. Want to avoid the Bowser Zone and stay on a direct path to the goal. So yeah, Mario got a pretty decent roll there. I'm gonna have to use the uh, shell on him when it's my turn. Yeah. Who wants some bonus dice blocks? Well, let's hope I get a mini game that could really help my cause. Gyro for the gold. This one may not help as much. I have to tilt the system around to move to guide my character. So yeah, as you can see in that picture, I have to tilt the system like that. <laughs> this ain't gonna be pretty. I mean, this game is winnable from a master difficulty standpoint, but you never know. Seem to be off to a fast start here. Uh. Let's say, why is Luigi moving so fast when I have, um... Uh. Looks like Luigi's gonna beat me. Unless he badly messes up with this bridge. Doesn't look like he will. Oh, he made a slight turn back. This gives me an opportunity. I think I got this. <laughs> How do you like that? <laughs> yeah. And Mario got last, so he ain't getting another dice block. So this is going to help my cause even more. Well, at least Yoshi is not going to use his lightning item, and he got rolled one under the max he could possibly get. Unfortunately, this is going to help him a lot. Maybe I should use the uh, shell on Yoshi instead. Yeah, if I roll a four or five, I could make it to that cannon. Hopefully I can, but I'm going to first uh, use the shell on Yoshi here. Just set him back a little bit. Alrighty. So yeah, if you notice how I'm doing this on the touch screen. Oop. There we go. I didn't put enough force on that. <laughs> but I, I don't like doing that as much because... It can be very finicky when trying to even get those dice up there, and look what I just landed on. <laughs> Does this put me ahead of Yoshi? Oh yeah, look at that! <laughs> just went from third to first. And I'm already almost halfway there. Luigi is still way back there. That seven spaces for him is still pretty decent. Ooh. We got a mini game this time for a bonus item. We get to play another mini game with bonus items at stake. The winner gets to pick what item they want. So, and Luigi gets to pick the mini game though. Fuel me once. This one is winnable if you really know how to play it. Just fill the jetpack with just enough fuel to land on the platform, so. What you're going to see here in the demo is basically how this works. So yeah, you see, saw that the panel closed. You just pretty much have to really guess when that scene hit 100. Or at least as close to 100 as you could. Yep. 
That's how this is gonna work. It ain't that easy. Here we go. Ooh. We were almost simultaneous, although I... Pretty sure with Master Difficulty, these three are gonna get near perfect. Ooh. Oh, I went past it by a lot. Gosh, dang it. So I definitely get no chance at picking an item. Yeah. Nah. Definitely fell asleep there. Oh well. And Mario is going to pick the gold mushroom, which is going to add five to his dice roll. Luigi's going to pick that one to add three to his dice roll. He's got two of those now. The bullet bill for Yoshi gets to send an opponent back five spaces, so just an upgrade of that green shell. Okay. And Mario's gonna use his gold mushroom right away. Especially since he did not even uh, win a bonus dice block in the minigame. And he just got nine. <laughs> That's definitely gonna help his cause right there. Another challenge time. This is the halfway mark of the board. Which way will you go? The direct route? or to the Bowser Zone. So all you have to do is press A when you think it's going to hit in the right spot. <laughs> Man, he just moved 14 spaces. A chain jump. May want to avoid waking it up. I can almost guarantee that chain jump is dreaming about <laughs> when he's gonna get to play in Mario Tennis Aces. <laughs> he didn't even know he would until about five years later. Let's take a look at the standings. I'm only in second place, but still quite a few spaces behind the first place player. Yeah. Alright, what's our next mini game? Not Cannonball, please. Alright, uh, quickest cricket ain't bad, but still very tough. The cannonball game would have involved um, using this one mechanic you used in the very first Mario Party. <laughs> that is not really comfortable. But this one ain't that bad. Pull back and release. And yeah. The speed of the quick could also depend on. That wiggler almost bumped into me. <laughs> well, the one from back there. Oh, yeah. Dang, I'm trapped. Oh, well. Got no chance. I actually thought I could jump over that one wiggler when I got it to the f got to it the first time, but I guess the cricket just doesn't like to jump over it as much. Well, I don't get a bonus dice block, but I'm at least gonna try to roll the best I can to hopefully catch up to Mario. Oh. He's going to use the bullet bill on Mario, though. This is going to help a lot. It's going to send Mario back five spaces. Well, at least uh, Yoshi was very cooperative. All right, let's see what happens with um, Yoshi here. Still hope he fails this. 
and he will not. And he pulls ahead of Mario by only a couple spaces. Oh, he gets a star, which it doubles the dice roll. And it can get him way ahead. Something you'll especially want to use if you have a gold dice block. Alright, a four. Alright, still gotta get past this hurdle, which ain't easy. Uh... Nope, didn't get it. Yeah, Monty Mole's gonna toss me over there. And even though I have a few spaces left to move, they end my turn immediately right there. <laughs> which is dumb, but... What more could you say? Sure would have been nice if I had a mushroom with me just to get out of that Bowser zone fast. Well, let's hope for a fail on that route by Luigi here. He will not get it. Oh, we got another um, mini game for items. Oh, we got the worst mini game. Use the stylus to draw a line to copy constellations you see on the top screen. I can't win this on master difficulty, I swear. If you know what I mean, it's just tough to draw um, constellation lines as fast as the Master Difficulty players do. I mean, just watch the bottom screen. Yeah, it's not easy to draw that fast. I mean, the top screen will at least tell me what I have to draw here. But, you can see that. I can't draw as fast as they do. Eh... Uh, Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just not a fast drawer if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Start. And sometimes it's so finicky to even get the uh, hitboxes for those stars connected. Yeah. Oh, whatever. I don't get a crack at an item. to help me get out of the Bowser zone as fast as I would like to. Luigi's gonna go for that, which switches places with an opponent. I think it's random though for who can switch. He's getting rid of his lightning score striker item. Well, at least Mario's gonna win a cooperative item. I still hope these guys roll very low numbers so I can still catch up to them. Alright, that's low enough. Any game I can win here. Get real is 50 50 in my opinion. Rotate the control stick to advance or rewind film. All you have to do is just wind the film back and forth to find the frame pictured on the touch screen. So, yeah, if you saw what what's on the top compared to what's on the bottom. I just have to match what's on the bottom. So, just watch for Mario's position here as I twist this. I think, oh! Oh, I actually got it! Oh, man! 
I was one frame behind at first, but I still managed to get it through. Alrighty, here we go again. Alright, Mario's gonna be slightly above that green balloon. Oop, I have to go back a bit. I got it again! Okay! Alrighty, look at that one boo on the far right side. Look out the window. Uh, one... Okay, whew. I'm like... I'm definitely a frame or two ahead or behind, but at least I got all of them. <laughs> My goodness, I can't believe I won this mini game on Master Difficulty. Uh, these two have to decide who gets the last item, and it's gonna be Yoshi. Well, at least I get first crack at an item. Was um, a K Maxine one of them? Because I could sure use that. Oh, wait, no, this was a mini game for um, dice blocks. Never mind. Well, at least I got the biggest dice block. If I can roll a pair of sixes here, I'm definitely back in this game. If I can roll a pair of sixes. Oh, he just got past Chain Chomp. And he could even ro go three more spaces. And yeah, a ferocious Womp awaits you at the end. Well, at least when it's Mario's turn, he'll most likely use the Bullet Bill on Yoshi. To undo those three extra spaces. Spend as little time as possible. Well, let's just hope the gold dice block cooperates well with me here. Uh, six ain't decent, but it's gonna get me out of the zone barely, I think. No. Oh man, I just go back pretty much the way I came. Unbelievable. I still moved up one space. But unfortunately, I was set back because of that piranha plant. Ooh! Please switch with me. Come on. Yes! Okay! I will gladly take that. So yeah, the theme song for this one is sort of a remix of the uh, World X4 castle levels in the original Super Mario Bros. game. <laughs> and Luigi got the same item he just used that actually hurt him. Alright. Yep. Like I said, Mario is definitely going to use that on Yoshi to at least buy me some time. And now he's back in the area of Chain Chomp. Let's see if he can roll a number high enough to just uh, land on Chain Chomp space. I think he did. Uh, no, he went past it by one. <laughs> he essentially just uh, traded spaces with Yoshi right there. Yoshi was just on that space at the start of Mario's turn. Yeah. Our leading player is almost at the goal. And Luigi gets a free item for being in last place. Yes. Ooh, a Chaos K-Mech, which switches everyone's places. Oh boy. Luigi has a big chance himself, too. And now the last person in last place will select which minigame to play. And Luigi picks that minigame. Hopefully it's a one I can win. Unfortunately, this is luck-based. All I have to do is choose a spot on the wheel to stand on, give the wheel a spin, and hope you avoid the hammer. So, I pretty much have no control in this one. Oh. 
I'll go for yellow. Now they're going to decide who spins the wheel. Mario will. A uh, pretty slow spin. And what do you know? Well, no bonus dice block for me there. Uh, <laughs> Mario can't get out of that zone right there. Luigi will spin. I hope uh, Mario is the next to get eliminated. No. Because I don't want him getting a gold dice block. Well, it's 50-50 now between these two. Which bro is going to win this? Well, pretty much nothing I could do about that loss there. Hmm, Yoshi is going to double his dice roll. So he could move as much as 16 spaces. And he's gonna move 8 instead. And yeah, he could have moved the amount of spaces necessary to reach the finish. Got a bonus item minigame. Oh, look at that! Two Chaos Kamek ones at stake, and even um, a Lakitu, whatever that is. I don't remember what the Lakitu one does. And Slipknot is a tough game. This one involves gyro controls, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Slide as far as you can without slipping off. I have very, very little success with this minigame. Because the steering is very, very finicky. Uh. If there was a way to control my speed, that would be great, but I guess that's a cheap move anyway. Ah! Finish. Dang, I couldn't get as far as um, Luigi did. Well, no chance at an item. However, though, they're, they're definitely going to go for these um, K-Mech ones and... There's still a chance for me to get swapped with somebody far ahead of me. I still gotta hope I don't get swapped with Luigi, though. So he's got two Chaos KMX and has two crazy ones. And even Yoshi's gonna pick it. Say, if I was Yoshi, I still wouldn't use that when you're in the lead. So what does the Lakitu one do? Steals an item from an opponent. Okay. Still need a decent roll here if I can manage... ...to... <laughs> and that's just a standard space. Nothing happened. Alright, I'm pretty sure... yeah, Luigi. Okay. Everyone switch places, so I'm gonna land on somewhere. Where am I gonna land, though? Okay, at least I'm not in Bowser's zone. Oh, they actually put me <laughs> in second place. Alrighty, so I still have a chance here. Unfortunately, though, it looks like... Luigi rolled enough to reach the finish, but it's not over yet. All you have to do is get past this warp to win the game, so roll the dice and take a shot. Need to roll a six to knock that brute over in one try. So what's he gonna roll? Got a three. 
<laughs> I guess that's why they call that thing a womp, huh? Well, so next time somebody meets the womp, the womp will need to be beat up three times to win the board. Oop. Well, he has no item to steal from me and Mario's gonna attain that item. Can he use it this turn or does he have to wait? Yeah, he has to wait another turn to use it. Blooper. Cuts an opponent's roll in half. So pretty much the opposite of the star one. And he gets rid of it. If I was him, I would have used it on um, Luigi, since he's out in front. Point and shoot. This minigame also has general controls. Move the system to search around and take pictures. Oh boy. I probably don't have much of a chance on this one. I have to find a cheap, cheap blooper and Goomba. Here's the. Uh, everything else was collected. Okay. The shy guy. I uh, got the piranha plant. Where's the manta ray? Couldn't, couldn't find it. Okay. Let's find a blooper. Where was the blooper at? I. Well, the Goomba I could still find, but I didn't get it. Ah, uh, so I got a tie for second. Just gotta roll better than Luigi here. I'll let him go first. He got a two. Dane, he beat me in that one. Alright, it's Yoshi's turn first, and he's definitely going to use that k item. Hopefully it doesn't put me back there, though. Okay, it puts Mario there. Oh, would you look at that! Do you know what this means, guys? <laughs> guys, do you even know what this means? Yep, I need to roll three to weaken the, the wolf and win this. And not only do I get to roll with, have to roll a three, but I get two dice blocks to do this. So there's pretty much no way I lose this. Look at that. <laughs> the extra dice block helped out. <laughs> Oh, this is the luckiest Mario Party win you're ever gonna see. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is one for the highlight reels of all of YouTube for luckiest Mario Party win ever. I mean, I was trailing in this game for quite a long time. <laughs> and thanks to the uh, power of Crazy Kamek, <laughs> I won this board. <laughs> thanks to Crazy Kamek. <laughs> Ugh. And yeah, even the bottom screen stuff uh, says a lot. Still even won despite landing on the piranha plant space. Didn't even land on a red event space. 
I even didn't move as many spaces as I did the others. Yoshi moved as many as 62 spaces and still lost. How, how can you explain that? You probably would have expected yourself to move at least 50 spaces to win this board, but nope, I, I moved 11 less than the absolute minimum. <laughs> and I only had just one item to use throughout that whole board. That's also another huge weird thing. And yeah, a custom dice block would have been in play as well, but that didn't happen. Items used on opponents, yeah, used three of them. <laughs> And I put- and I finished in fourth place in six out of the nine minigames played. <laughs> Only won twice. <laughs> Mario Party is crazy sometimes, right guys? Go ahead and exit out of that. <laughs> and yeah, Mario Party points. And yeah, look at how- look at how many points I have. <laughs> Points that are pretty much not necessary, because I've already collected a lot of things necessary <laughs> in the special room, whatever it's called. And I will not go ahead and do all that again. <laughs> yeah, the take breaks from playing. <laughs> we know about warnings like that game, and we don't really care. <laughs> but anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this very first 3DS video on my channel, Mario Party Island Tour, with one of the most bizarre wins you'll ever see <laughs> in the history of Mario Party. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Anyways, I will see you good friends maybe next week for the next Mario Party Island Tour board, which might be the Bonsai Bills Mountain one. Yeah, I think we'll do that one next. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Have an awesome day. So long.